Yeah, well, it's been the right height for every other show. Yeah, we'll stick a box underneath the bottom chair then. All right. Left. 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 Oh. Oh my God, it's already starting. Okay. 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 Hi, everybody, and welcome once again to my show. We'll put another box under the bottom chair, you moron! Hi, everybody! <laughs> and what a show we've got lined up for you tonight. We've got everything! I and welcome to Facts or Frauds. What you are witnessing is real. The participants are not actors. Calling case number 2401173SM. This is the people of the state of Michigan versus Len Derek Tyler Stringer. Uh, Mr. Angott, do you wish to place an appearance on the record? Judge John Angott, I'm here um, as appointed counsel for Mr. Stringer regarding this arraignment. However, Mr. Stringer does not acknowledge or consent to this hearing. Is that correct, Mr. Stringer? I do not identify. I identify as the beneficiary that is here to protect Lynn Derrick Stringer. Very well, Mr. Stringer. The court is going to read the charge into the record since the formal reading is not waived. Mr. Stringer, it is charged by the people of the state of Michigan that in this city, Royal Oak, County of Oakland, and state of Michigan, on or about June 16th of 2024, you did knowingly make an open or indecent exposure of your person while fondling your in a public area, contrary to the statute so made and provided at Michigan Compile Law 750.335A, subparent 2, subparent B. The court advises you that this is referred to as a Tier 1 offense under the Sex Offender Registry Act. If the victim is a minor, it is a Tier 2 offense. If you have a prior conviction for a Tier 1 offense, it is a Tier 3 offense. If you have a prior conviction for a Tier 2 offense, this is a high misdemeanor punishable by up to two years in the state prison and up to $2,000. Also, a mandatory collection of DNA identifying profiling samples. There is a count two misdemeanor in that on the same date you did knowingly make an open or indecent exposure of your person contrary to the statute so made and provided at michigan compile law 750.335a subparent 2 subparent a commonly known as indecent exposure at this time the court enters not guilty pleas on both of these matters so that Mr. Stringer's presumption of innocence under the constitutions of Michigan and the United States are preserved. Sir, excuse me, sir. You have not talked to my beneficiary yet. You have not talked to the person who owns the estate yet. Uh, he is right now. Mr. Angott, um, the court is making a notation of court appointed counsel to run through the IDSO office and that new counsel as appointed by Mr. Mena can make whatever judgments they wish to make and make any motions they wish to make at Mr. Stringer's first probable cause conference. Mr. Stringer, this matter is now being set for a probable cause conference. That will be on a new date. The law entitles you to what they refer to as a preliminary examination within 21 days of this arraignment today. If probable cause is either found or waived at that preliminary examination, this uh, the, the matter will be bound over to the Oakland County Circuit Court for further arraignment, trial, and proceedings. The court must now set bond in this manner. It's not intended to prejudge or punish you. You are presumed innocent, Mr. Stringer. However, the court must set bond in order to ensure your reappearance to court and afford any necessary protection for the public. In that regard, um, the court would first hear from Detective Keith Baringa of the Royal Police Department. Then the court would hear from your attorney, Mr. Stringer, Detective Baringa, please proceed. Thank you. Personal bond. Cutter had bond in this matter in GPS Setter to uh, ensure his appearance at court. He currently has two warrants out of the state of Texas for assault and uh, also uh, in 
assault with injury to family violence uh, out of Texas. He also has a lengthy criminal history out of Texas, going from as recent of these warrants, which were entered last year, back to around 2015, uh, receiving charges for evading arrest and detention, uh, unlawful possession of a firearm by a felon, uh, assault, family, and house member impeding breath or circulation, uh, several other assault charges, a weapons charge, and then also like falsifying uh, information or government documents. I'm not sure if that's just like a generic false ID case or not, but uh, multiple felons out of Texas. I'm uh, not sure how long he's been in Michigan. He has no current um, cases out of Michigan that I'm aware of. His criminal history, he has uh, assaults from 2019 out of Parker Woods, which looks like it was occurred as uh, assaulting a public officer or obstructing uh, where he got served nine days ago. And that is it out of Michigan. Anything further? So I would also ask that he not be allowed to return to any uh, public or private pools in the city of Pueblo or parks, grass areas adjacent to it. Thank you very much. Mr. Anga. Judge, as noted by the court, the presumption of innocence is absolute at this point. And so we must start from there. Mr. Stringer or the person uh, purporting to represent Mr. Stringer is a business owner. Um, judge, despite the fact of these charges and what was listed by the detective, I believe that with the GPS tether, that certainly would give this court pretrial services and other, any other entity overseeing Mr. Stringer during the pendency of this matter, uh, notice of where he would be within three feet is my understanding with that tether. I don't think a cash bond is necessary. I would ask the court to give him a personal bond with the GPS tether. Thank you very much. The following conditions will apply to Mr. Stringer's release. Mr. Stringer will appear for all his future dates as directed. He will abide any valid order or judgment entered in this case. Mr. Stringer, you will not leave the state of Michigan without permission of the court. Please don't commit any crimes while you're on release status. You will notify the court in writing of any change of address, telephone, or email. Mr. Stringer will be making reports to pretrial services, and they will supervise his release. There will be no use of alcohol, marijuana, or any other controlled substance without a valid prescription from a treating physician, and Mr. Stringer will abide a substance abuse testing and monitoring program, no purchase or possession of a firearm or other deadly weapon. Mr. Stringer shall not harass, intimidate, beat, wound, or threaten Linda Murray and Chad, nor will he cause through himself or through any third party to have direct or indirect contact with said individuals. Mr. Stringer will not enter the cities of Royal Oak or Berkeley except for court, work, or medical treatment. No release without a GPS tether with appropriate alerts for the victims in this case, as well as the location which is, in fact, Wickham, correct, Detective? That will work. Thank you. Uh, and at this time, um, there will be two ETGs per week for control uh, alcohol consumption and three controlled substance tests a month. Given everything that's before the court at this time, the court will set bond in the amount of $50,000 Cash or surety, no 10% allowed at this time. If Mr. Stringer wishes to bring various motions before the examining judge, and that could include a motion to modify his bond, that is his right and his privilege, but at this time, that is the bond as set by this court. Mr. Stringer, that concludes your arraignment, sir. Sure. So I don't have, I can't, I can't get out on a personal bond? 
That's correct, Mr. Stringer. You cannot get out on a personal bond. 50000 cash or surety with the appropriate conditions that were already listed by the court. That completes your arraignment, sir. Sir, so what, what, what is going on with, with the... What is going on? Right? Well, what is going on? I'm sorry, sir? I'm being charged. I'm being charged with Can you please move up so the court could hear you? I said, how do you charge a dead entity, sir? I'm sorry, say that again? How do you charge a dead entity, sir? Well, just like this. And it, you just, it, it, ju it just happened right before your eyes. The before court has jurisdiction the over you, sir. Oh. Venue and jurisdiction have been established by sworn testimony. That completes it's your arraignment. Problem. Good luck to you. We're about to go to war. Hello, Dad. I'm in jail. And thanks for hanging out with us on Facts or Frauds. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button. You're subscribed. And ring that bell for notifications so next time I premiere a video, you can be in the live chat with everyone else and leave a comment in the comment section. Tell them what you think. And a huge thank you to all of our Facts or Frauds channel members. Wanishi, thank you. And if you're still hanging out, thank you. I appreciate you all. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button. You're subscribed. And leave a comment in the comment section. Tell them what you think. Until next time, I'll see you soon.